Okay. That was the intro. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Everything good? Everything going cool for you? And I hope you're feeling better than I do because I'm really good. If when you recommended this, you meant in a bad way or in a good way, uh, but we're gonna find out because I've been doing a thing where I'm trying to find a bad book, a bad coho book because I like everything I read of hers and I'm trying to be special like not everyone else and stuff. And then this dude said try Harbone's next and uh, I'm going to. <laughs> and I don't know if you meant it like try this one next, this is like guarantee you're gonna hate it or try this one next, you're gonna love it even like more or whatever. No, I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> the back of the book says, Bea comes from a life of poverty and neglect. Samson from a family of wealth. When the two find themselves spending the summer as neighbors, they soon realize money is one of the few things they don't have in common. Their bond is too intense to ignore, but with only the summer separating them from the start of the new lives on opposite ends of the country, Bea and Samson decide to stay in the shallow end of a summer fling. What they don't realize is that a, a rip current is coming and it's about to drag both their hearts out to sea. Looks like a romance. We're gonna see. Going Over has been um, getting some hate lately, like every book club that I go into, they're just like, oh my god, you're so overhyped, stop with the coho books, but I'm not gonna stop because I like them. So I'll see you in the wrap up, in the update, I'll see you in the update. <laughs> Hi, so I just, I'm like, um, what, seven chapters in? I don't fucking know, I'll tell you, but wait, let me sit down, let me sit down, let me sit down, I'm just gonna sit on the floor. So, so far we are following Bea, who lives in a trailer park, she is poor, 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 and her mom, who is um, very sick and an addict, uh, and then her mom, no, wait, that's a spoiler, that's a spoiler, I'm sorry, and like, you know, it's your typical, um, typical, we're poor and we live in a trailer park. <laughs> I, so far I don't see anything like special. I am chapter seven. I am a chapter seven. So what I thought my notes are uh, the start is slow. It's a slow start. It's given without merit start. It's not given very good reminders of him start. It's given slow without merit start, which is okay because we know how that ended up last day. I liked it. It's honestly like your typical I'm poor and my parents don't care about me movie and you know in a book So far Bea uh, needs to escape her situation because it got um, even more like dire and she calls her uh, dad and she goes away and she meets her step sibling and stuff like that and it gotten better like when she went away and she met her step sibling gotten better and it gotten better because there is inclusion of stuff that I rarely see and I liked. For example, I loved, 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 loved the inclusion of Lion as a coping mechanism because it's not talked about enough. Lion is rarely included as a symptom of trauma and it is one hell of a symptom of drama. You literally lie without even realizing you're lying because you need to keep yourself safe because if that person or this situation doesn't know the truth, then you're safe, like you can escape it. And it's one hell of, of a coping mechanism and I rarely see it in books. They talk about self-harm, they talk about all kinds of shit, nipping, gripping, uh, everything, but lion I don't really see often, so I was happy to see it. Also, finally someone talked about the switch. If you're stable and you don't know what the switch is, <laughs> I don't know if this is a BPD thing, like a borderline personality disorder thing, or like a common thing with all around trauma and PTSD and not just a BPD thing. But personally, because of my BPD, I have something that's called the switch, not splitting. It's different from splitting. Splitting is a huge factor for me and a huge thing that I struggle with daily. But uh, the switch is something completely different where I have this thing, personally, I don't want to say we have because I don't know if everyone in BPD has done that, but I have this thing that 
sort of as a defense mechanism that it's like a fucking switch and in the book she specifically says it's like a switch I can turn off as fast as I can turn on to him and I won't like him anymore and it's something that I personally have and I love that finally someone talked about it because it is 100% a defense mechanism like I can easily turn off all the feelings but I think I turn them off in order to not get hurt by a certain person or persons <laughs> some residual hurt or all the hurt is 100% still there but my brain convinces me that I turned it off but we take that hurt and we push it deep 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 down and we pretend like we don't feel anything I was very glad that someone talked about it also there's another quote page what page what fucking page 33 there you go it's so simple but I loved it it says uh, so she's when she when she went to her father's home they gave her the nicest room and uh, her stepsister says that this is the nicest room like and it's all your and immediately she says there must be something wrong with it if it has the nicest view yet no one chooses to stay in this room and it's immediately like an indicative of that of damaged people um, having a hard time accepting the fact that someone can do something nice for them just for the sake of doing something nice like it doesn't have a, to have a catch it doesn't have to have something bad going on with it it doesn't have to have like a negative thing it's just something nice that I'm doing for you but a damaged person have a very very hard time if not an impossible time taking that like oh my god they're doing something nice to me I deserve it because we immediately think that we don't deserve that and I love that it was done like so slightly but it was perfect I immediately caught it so yeah it's getting better it's getting better by the minute and it's still it's like no creepy but you want to know I don't know if that makes sense. I'm gonna see you in another update. <laughs> I think I think this might be the first Coho book that isn't gonna do it for me. I am in chapter 22. I still haven't read it, but I am in chapter 22. So I just finished chapter 21 and I don't know. <laughs> Throughout the story, there's this whole thing. I don't know where what I said we were at last night, where like where the story was headed last night, uh, last last night, uh, the last update. But Bea meets this dude, uh, where her father is. This whole thing, I see like what the author is trying to do. I see like it's trying to do this whole two damaged people trying to learn trust with each other like trying to be vulnerable with each other and to grow together like to learn to trust and to let go of that wall with each other I see that it's trying to do that whole thing but it's not given that um, but no it's given immature toxic stuff and I'm triggered and I am not here for it <laughs> there's this whole like uh, thing happening that uh, like someone tells you everything and is vulnerable and it's feeling like good for them and they're like sharing their secrets and their feelings and whatnot and then the other person in the relationship not doing that and that's triggering for me like personally and stuff and it's like toxic relationships 101 and I don't fucking like it and then um, he told her like I'm trying not to spoil I hope this is not gonna be that but he told her like oh I'm gonna tell you everything on this specific date and that's not cute that's not it that's not oh he's trying oh my, he's not fucking trying it's toxic okay stop this is immature it's given immature it's given middle school bullshit and I don't fucking like it I do however love um uh, the mid little details when it comes to being damaged and when it comes to um our own like behavior after dealing with uh stuff like trauma and the entire thing that damaged people like always expecting the worst and stuff like that with her siblings with her step sibling with her new uh, home new family with everything like that's going on in her life It's like she's always expecting the worst of the worst for her because that's what she's used to or that's what she thinks she deserves And I like the inclusion of that like and it's done in small details that I actually like really like it and appreciate it I have like a quarter way through being done and so far it's given boring. It's given slow um, and honestly, it's given nothing special. It's given three stars. It's given average and yeah, so far I don't really see anything special in it and I think we've done it. I think we got into the book that's gonna be like, yeah, I see why this is not hype. Like, it's not really something special. <laughs> but, cause yeah, 
yeah, so far it's it's really like nothing special. It's your average like coming of age stuff. So yeah, um, I'm gonna read some more. Hopefully it gets better because I do need a pick me up. But yeah, bye. <laughs> Can I appreciate the fact that my cat would not sit down unless I gave him the Batman cover? I finished. Um, don't forget everything I said in the last wrap up because that's how I truly felt like in the middle of it. But yeah, things changed. So obviously it got better. It got a lot better. I'm gonna give you a view of the cat because I know that's what you want. Um, there is, I'm going to go against what I said last update and say that there is definitely something special in it, even though it's nothing that I haven't seen before. It's not a story that we haven't seen before, whether in movies, whether in books. Uh, the story progression was amazing. I loved how it progressed. I love how it went from zero to a hundred real fucking quick i loved that uh <laughs> i loved how we were rich in a beach house and ended up in not rich in a beach house and i loved 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 the inclusion of every detail i said that before and it's something that i absolutely appreciate in stories and this one had the inclusion of details like tiny details of mental health of like coping mechanisms I love that. There was a thing with the main character where she sort of held on to any form of love she got because she never expected to have any or because she never really had any. And I started reading the last few chapters where she held on to literally with her teeth and nails to love because she never had it before. All I thought about was that quote which says um, when you are not fed love on a silver spoon you learn to lick it off of knives which is a quote by Lauren Eden from the book The Lioness Awakens which is a collection of poems and I highly recommend um, yeah that the last few chapters were just that quote explored that quote into a story and it's something that I loved I love how uh, she wasn't fully dependent on her relationship she started out like that let it out like that and i was just like triggered toxic hello and then she took time and she separated herself and i love how we ended up not dependent on it like yeah bitch i love you but i am my own woman and shit i like that like she gave them time to heal and to find themselves and to be connected with themselves and i like that this was a sweet short story about learning to let go and learning to trust. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks of what I said before, but this was an actual sweet story about learning to trust and to heal. And about hardships and being lonely and connecting to that loneliness. And sometimes you don't know with people, like you cannot judge. That was a whole thing with this one, like you cannot judge until you get to know someone or, you know, you take your time with them because yeah things aren't what they seem and even if someone seems completely like 100 percent different they can still um be equals in ways that you do not expect this was about two lonely kids who slipped through the cracks but then climbed together right back up to the top of the world it was sweet i'm not gonna lie i did tear up a little bit like almost to the end i did tear up a little bit because i was just like i want like this i want to be loved jesus where is my love where is my love where is my one and only where is me <laughs> like me <laughs> like i i wanted that so definitely that was um a sign of it being well written for me i was definitely wrong i'm mature i am a, a mature human barely i can say that i am i was wrong and i am sorry um uh, yeah this is an author that i enjoy reading from <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next video bye i'll be damned jesus